Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. Everyone wants more storage and space in the kitchen. So in today's video, I want to share my favorite ideas on maximizing kitchen storage and space. These 12 ideas have worked for us over the years in seven houses and counting, and I'm sure these will be useful to you as well. Now tip one is to practice tiered storage. Keep bigger and less used items behind frequently accessed items. Most cabinets are able to hold two or even three layers of items. So while everyone recommends making use of vertical space, don't forget to maximize your horizontal real estate as well. If you are layering your items, remember to use at least one of these two suggestions. The things at the back should be bigger in size and therefore visible. Number two is to keep like items front and back. For example, store your less used containers and ice containers behind your regularly used containers. So intuitively, you know where your things are when you need them. Things can easily be forgotten and then you just tend to buy more and collect clutter. So keep them where you will remember. Like things together, always. Use lids on baskets and bins that are stored at the back. This way, these seldom accessed items won't be dusty or won't have any creepy crawlers in them when you take them out. Now, to keep things visible, these tiered racks are a great option for visuals. Use these to organize your cans and spices. Or a simple way, if you don't have these, is just to use a block of wood. These are inexpensive balsa wood blocks. They can be cut with a simple table saw and they serve very well to keep items at the back visible. Similarly, you can also use one of these IKEA Variera risers to add height to the back. Now this way, it won't even matter that both the containers are exactly the same height. Everything is clearly visible. Just remember when tier organizing, use the most of the vertical height available at the back and then taper downwards towards the front. Tip two is that most of us have optimized usage of our space. So one way to keep things organized is to put even empty containers where they are used instead of looking for alternative spaces for them. You can keep empty jars in the pantry or in the refrigerator. One, you save space. And two, refilling and refreshing is so much easier than starting with blank spots and, you know, having to fetch those containers. And an empty container is also a great reminder that you need to go shopping. Tip three is to decant anything that you can. Using uniform containers to replace multi-sized boxes and packages is another great way to maximize your storage space. And one additional personal recommendation is to use square or rectangular boxes that are preferably higher than wider. This not only helps use the vertical space, these also fit better and require less space than round edges. So even if you prefer round ones, select those that have flat size for maximum storage capacity. Tip four is to avoid single-use gadgets. Unless you're using them frequently, consider clearing out some single-use gadgets. You can get multi-use tools instead, or you can just use an old fashioned manual method. Now still on containers, how do you store your food containers? I recommend the filing method. It is faster and easier to take these out than anything stacked by size or type. You will also get much more into a small area. Now tip six is to get the most of drawer organization. Get containers with clear lids. Generally, it is best to have eye level visibility of your items. That means clear containers for the cabinet and clear lids for the drawer. Try to use clear containers or clear lids wherever you can. You can use glass or acrylic, but keep the contents visible for convenience. Pulling out every container to look for the one you need only adds work and wastes time. Tip seven is that not everything needs an organizer or divider. I find that for bigger and heavier items, bins can actually be irritating. I like using organizers only for repetitive and small items, hence cutlery. 
You are really blessed if you have cutlery organizers that fit exactly in your drawer. Usually there will be extra space either at the end or on the side or both. Well, try to maximize at least one of them and then use the additional space for other items. Now this drawer has our cutlery in a cutlery holder, but there is an empty space at the back which you don't actually see. Now using these small organizers, I have organized the mini adult supplements here. So they are out of the way, they are reachable, you don't have to see them at all times, and they are so accessible. You can also use the extra space for oversized pieces that do not fit into the organizers. Now these spaces are prime real estate, so you really got to think out of the box. Like I always say, there are no rules, just lots of recommendations to get you inspired to do what's best for your family. Now tip eight is to use a mounted dish rack. Having hand washed dishes off the countertop is probably one of the biggest space maximizers in any kitchen. It gives you all the extra countertop area for other kitchen activities. Tip nine is in order to be able to stack things tightly, you also need to protect the items. For example, are these plates. They are piled high because they're not used frequently. These plate holders keep everything neat and protected while allowing us to store a lot in one space. Now, tip 10 is to keep the kitchen for its purposes. This is where we spend most of our time at home and therefore there tends to be a lot of activity here. Some of you may have kids who do their homework or play. I have got many adults who come around with their files just to, you know, discuss something with me. Now, these things do not belong here at the end of the day unless you have the extra and allocated space within your kitchen. So put those items away in a basket or an organizer and return them to where they belong. There is also no need to organize clutter. You are not going to use something just because you know where it is. You either need it or you don't. Organize what you do and declutter what you don't. It's that simple. Keep what you need and know how many you need. That is the best way to make the most of your space. I personally feel that the kitchen should not be assessed on sentiments or following what others do. Your kitchen should be accommodating only what you need. Get your family heirlooms and crockery out of the kitchen. The dining room is a great place for these items. Keep your entertaining items away, either on higher shelves or in another area. Again, possibly your dining room and reserve all the space in the kitchen for cooking and cleaning purposes. If you are considering relocating certain things in the kitchen, then you need to watch the previous video and find out about the five step rule to help you make some decisions. A question I often get asked is if cabinets should have doors. Now it's your kitchen and it's what you prefer, but a simple way to look at it is by looking at the contents. Cabinets with doors are great for multicolored and varied sizes of things. It is great to store things that you don't want to constantly see even though you use them regularly. It gives a sense of calm not to see everything every time you look around the kitchen. But on the flip side, enclosing everything also gives you a very sterile vibe. So have a few neutral and decorative items on open shelves and glass door cabinets. Add a few chosen items to your countertops. Add some plants to create a more cozy, welcoming aesthetic. And I should add white and light colored cabinets add to the calm of the space. Now tip 12 is to extend your kitchen outwards wherever possible. Use every bit of space available. Now this 14 inch of empty space gave me a whole new additional broom closet and a bulk by storage space. In India at least, or at least it was the practice to have the refrigerator in the dining room and that is a great solution to giving yourself more room in the kitchen. You can also place a trolley or rack to extend the kitchen outwards. Now, these are great as movable storage, so use it as a baking cart or even for your rice cooker. Refilling the serving dish from a close range makes it so much easier and you have extra storage here as well. You can keep unripe fruit here, even cordials, and it's right next to the refrigerator for access to chilled water on a hot day. 
Now, these 12 tips are my favorite ideas for maximizing my kitchen space. I hope you will get some ideas for your own kitchen from here. I truly believe in maximizing space and minimizing effort. And these are some of the ways that I make that possible. I hope that you have found this video useful. And if you want more homemaking videos like these, leave me a thumbs up and a comment so I can share more. Right now, I'm thinking of tips that minimize cooking time. What do you think? Let me know. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying, Happy homemaking.